Made it to Magic Mountain and I have two credits I need to get here. Goliath and Riddler's Revenge. But I also have to get on X2 while I'm here. That is almost a non-negotiable anytime you're at Magic Mountain. Big thumbs down, not even gonna hide it. I don't like it, don't like it one bit. And really it's just stand-up coasters that I don't like. I can't seem to get the technique. People say like, there's a right way to do it. Y'all, there shouldn't have to be this super secret technique to ride a coaster the right way to not feel pain. Uh, they're also just running the one train on that. And uh, from what I can tell, they're running one train on pretty much everything else. It's a Monday, but you know, I always think like, if this was King's Island, they'd be running, if not max capacity, close to it, as long as like they actually could. And for a park that wants to like be known as this coaster capital, you know, they want to draw people out and compete with the major players, then you got to act like a major player, you know? You can't be doing this minimum capacity thing. You're not even open 365 days a year anymore. So like, I don't know, I'm a little salty about it, as you can tell, but let me cast that aside. Still happy to be here. We were literally three seconds away from a duel on Twisted Colossus, which begs the question, what do they have to do to actually sync this thing up perfectly? Because I feel like they did all the right things. They hustled, like the timing on the drop was almost perfect. I'm not sure what it takes, but we missed it by that much. X2, supposed to be closed all day. It's now open. So I'm doing that like mad dash hurried walk from Goliath all the way to X2. I'm just going to pray to God that it's still open by the time I get there. I just got the crap beaten out of my legs on X2, and it was amazing. Holy cow though, it's bouncy. It's way more bouncier than it was last year, but you know, I don't even care. This thing is world-class, one of a kind. Um, there will never be another X2, that's all I can say. X2 now gives you unlimited rides on the Ultimate Flash Pass. Last year, it only gave you one per visit, so I'm really excited to see that change. This bottle of water before my discount was $8. All right, so I rode Ninja. No, I didn't ride Ninja. I rode Viper and it was much better than last time. Last time I rode it, I smacked my head against the back of the seat. 
think through the second loop and that gave me like a massive headache. So I rode uber defensively this time and had a much better ride because of it. That was Goliath, final credit I needed here at the park. And it was everything everyone has said about it. But I will say this, yes, the drop is shallow. Yes, there is zero air time. And yes, the positive Gs are bone crushing. But younger Christopher that was super scared of roller coasters and hated that drop feeling would have actually loved Goliath. It would have been like a great introduction to taller coasters. Uh, because you really don't get anything on the drop, but you know what it has its fans. I mean, it's fine for what it is. It's fast That's about it. I said every ride was on one train ops and It's not technically true. So Twisted Colossus is running two trains. However, that's the equivalent of one train ops that aside Goliath was running two and oh my gosh, what was the other that was running two? Viper was running two which was confusing because literally no line. So can't explain it, but I want to be fair. There are a few coasters running more than one train. Quick thoughts on Scream, not a fan. And I hate to say that because I really do like floorless coasters. Medusa at Discovery Kingdom, which I rode yesterday, phenomenal. And you know, you can't say it's the setting because Medusa is basically a parking lot coaster too. Um, this seems like a bit more egregious in the fact that it's a parking lot coaster, um, but still that's not like a, a big deal. For me, the biggest issue is that it's so rattly like this thing shakes in all the valleys and it's awful. Um, they've got to do something to fix that. Plus it was only running the one train. So the lines are taking just a little bit longer uh, than they should have. Something's coming. What it is, I do not know. You know, if they can just bump the calories up by like a couple hundred, the calories will match the price. So I had one more coaster left in me, and of course, I had to make it X2. But holy lord, that final element, it absolutely destroys my legs. And I got a whole bunch of messages from people on Instagram saying, cross your legs, cross your legs. How do you exactly cross your legs? There's a giant bar that separates like your thighs. How can you cross your legs during that element? I don't know. Um, this is kind of weird, you know, like, I can't do it more than twice in a visit, but the thing is so awesome. It's not that I don't like it. It just takes so much out of you. So uh, good way to end my day here at Magic Mountain. Got the two credits that I came for. This was a bit of an abbreviated visit. Obviously been to the park before, so didn't need to get on everything. But uh, it's been a fun three days here in California and uh, excited to get back home, but very, very thankful to be that much closer to my goal of 500 credits. We are 54 away now. 
So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you here soon.